know when you're like sending a really funny text and then you're like laughing by yourself like to the point where like I started vlogging and I'm still laughing at myself yeah you know happy Friday guys today is a day where I am getting my life together the dogs are getting groomed I'm getting my car wash I need to do laundry I need to put away new clothes I need to clean upstairs I need to edit a vlog I mean, we've got a lot happening so it's gonna be a productive getting my life together Friday but first we're gonna start off with my reading and then a workout um, I know I mentioned this in every vlog. I'm telling you right now, guys. I love these Ikea cups and this glass straw. Guys, like, literally take a shot every time I mention these glass straws. Just kidding. I actually don't, but very good. Beautiful. I also made some overnight oats last night, which I haven't had in so long. I didn't have like half of what I normally use in overnight oats, so we'll see if it's even good, you know? Peanut butter's a little bit thick. Seems promising. Gonna eat this and drink my coffee and do my little morning reading. My morning reading lately has consisted of reading a few essays out of this book, which I've been talking about in vlogs nonstop. I'm on essay 27. I read some at the, I almost said the pool, on the rooftop yesterday too. So good, guys. You learn so much. This straw changes the game. I'll shut up about it soon at like some point, but it really does. You know what else while we're here? It's weird to do this in the kitchen, but my claw clamps that I have. I have long hair, but I have a lot of it. So finding claw clamps that actually like hold my hair up, like doesn't happen and like it'll fall out all night and I just like can't do it. I got this set on Amazon that they're like jumbo claw clamps. I think this is actually the smaller one of the jumbo. Um, and I literally, as long as it's not like a Pilates workout where I'm laying down, I like work out in them and they hold it. That's like, don't pay attention to how it looks. I like didn't try, you know? But best claw clamps ever. I will also link those below. I talk, to them, I talk about them all the time, but they really just change the game. They have big ones and there's also like pink ones and they're cute. Just finished working out. I'm drenched. I feel gross. I have so much cleaning to do in my house, like deep cleaning. Then I want to shower after, so I'm going to go drop the dogs off at their grooming appointment. Oh, you know what? I can't get my car washed. It's going to rain this weekend. It's gloomy now. It was so sunny an hour ago. I'm home. I'm going to set a timer for 45 minutes. I'm going to clean all the floors upstairs. My robot vacuum and mop right here. Not sponsored, but I do have a code for like $100 off. I, I did a deal with them a few weeks ago, and it's literally... I went into my manager's office this week, and I'm like, that's the best job I've ever done, because... This thing has saved my life. I need one for upstairs so I never have to clean my floors again. Anyways, as you can see, I have a lot to put away over here. We're just going to get to it. I'm going to clean my stairs. The floors are going to be mopped. I mean, it's going to be like a whole new house. Just give me some time, you know? I'm listening to Kit's podcast with her mom, Cynthia Rally. So good, guys. <laughs> document this but these are my first new clothes that I just bought that I'm putting in the closet like why do I feel like this needs to be documented it really truly doesn't I just love this room this was the best decision I've made in my house I oh, just feel so good in here <laughs> Alright guys, just cleaned the floors, cleaned all upstairs, got rid of some more mess that was in here. I still need to take this stuff downstairs, but I grabbed a bunch of that stuff. I have to wait until my brothers are back in town so they can take care of the rest of the boxes. They are driving me insane. I have trash. I cleaned in there. The robot vacuum mop. Just cleaned my floors down here. It's so beautiful. It's pretty clean down here. I'm working, so I just have some random stuff on the counters, but love this. I got a package from Pure Synergy. I'm working with them on the podcast. I'm really excited. I'm actually going to try this right now. So this is barley grass. I'm excited to try this. I'm going to do this in a second. But later this afternoon, I want to try making matcha with their matcha powder. My big frother broke. I ordered a new handheld frother and that one doesn't work for some reason. So I'm just going to boil and whisk it together myself. But I'm excited. <music> I'm 
gonna try this drink. I'm gonna put in two teaspoons. Oh. It is now 12.30, I've cleaned the house, I did the dishes, did a bunch of random stuff, put clothes away. I just made another coffee because I didn't drink all mine this morning and I threw it away just to end up being exhausted. Um, lately when I've been doing morning workouts, I'm just so tired throughout the day. Um, I'm waiting for the dogs to be ready. I'm actually about to start editing a vlog, just getting stuff done. My night is starting a little bit early tonight, it's like 4.45, so I'll probably do like a little get ready with me and like what I'm gonna wear. It's gonna be really chill. It's just like me and the girls as literally always. But yeah, just wanna give you guys an update. Also, again, I live for this cup. It's just so good. Guys, what I'm about to show you, I need you guys to not laugh. The dogs are very insecure, okay? Okay guys, obviously we're back from the groomers. Bitsy, dude, Coco. I don't have dogs anymore, I have naked mole rats. Whenever he gets groomed, something about his hair on the top of his head makes him look so funny. Fitz is, um, Coco really is a naked mole rat, but she's gonna wear a sweater. Fitz is really just out here. You know, you're lucky that you are so handsome that you can really pull anything off, dude. Don't let the kids at school tell you anything differently, okay, dude? Okay, bud? Oh, bud, oh, bud. I mean, yeah, here we are. I'm gonna go put her sweater on immediately, literally right this second. Oh, come on, Coco. Girl, to the rescue. I have something for you. It'll be good. Where did it go? I think it's upstairs. We have to go find it. Come on, Coco, let's go. <laughs> oh, I love you. Guys, it's like Coco's perspective, almost. Well, the Dior one, okay, here's the thing. This one like makes more sense for the times but it's messed up. She's not happy about this, but girl, trust me, you're gonna get cold, okay? You're just little, you're little. Oh, see girl, look at this. It completes the look. Look at how cute you look with your sweater. You look so fabulous. You look so fabulous, Coco. Yes, you look so cute. Hi, I love you. Oh, oh, no, 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 we don't do that. You looking cute, girl. Hey, sit. Good girl, look at this look on her. Coco, we love this look. We love this look. In case you guys are wondering, I'm not as basic as you think for having a white dog named Coco. Her real name is Coconut after American Girl, which, you know, borderline makes that worse. You kind of like Dobby the Elf, dude. Girl, whatever. Hey, Fitz, I'm gonna, okay, let's go get you water downstairs because clearly you want some. I have no sweaters for you. You are very big. Guys, I got another package from After Voices and I now have the blue exercise dress. If you guys didn't know, the new ones have straps on the back, which is so nice because you can actually adjust it now, which I love. If you don't have an exercise dress, like you need one, these are the best things to wear in the summer. Once it's hot, you can actually work out in them. You can just wear them and make them cute. Like white sneakers, oh, so cute. Really love these, very excited. Thank you so much, Outdoor Voices. I've decided it's currently 1.20. Starting my night, I have plans at 4.45, okay? I pretty much never have time for my rollers to sit in my hair for like four hours. So that's what we're I'm gonna, what? So that's what we're gonna do today, guys. Just got these. I'm no pro. I just got these off Amazon. This is where I have no good storage for them. If you have good storage, let me know. And then I got these clamps. I'll link everything below. I'm not a pro. I just watch TikTok stuff. I just watch like YouTube videos. What I normally do is I'll go through with my Dyson with the round brush, and then I'll go through and make it hot and then do the roller and then let it sit probably for about an hour before I go out. But I have more time, so I wanna see if it like really makes, I wanna see what happens. You cannot find my round brush attachment anywhere, so I'm just gonna dry my hair and make it hot and then see what happens from there. So I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos, do a little time lapse, um, and we'll see. Like, this is just so uncomfortable. Like, you can't even move my, you know? 
I'm gonna go through and make sure they're really hot. I know this is like risky, but. Guys, I did it like totally different than how I normally do it. Like this stuff's really high up and yeah. We're just gonna like see, but like how am I supposed to vlog for the next, you know what? We're just gonna get, you know, I just have to edit a vlog and like get a little bit of reading done. So um, maybe we'll talk when I'm like getting ready, you know? Guys, this is, this is the stuff we do. This is the stuff that TikTok makes me do, okay? Oh my God, I, for, uh, I just saw fits again. I forgot they were naked mole rats. I cannot explain to you how much I love you, dude. How do I explain that you're just the most perfect little dude ever? Oh, oh, bud. Let's go downstairs, let's go downstairs, bud. Come on. Here we are again, okay. Oh, there you are, girl. Hey guys, I'm about to actually get ready. It's much later, hello, still looking like this. Got my work done. But I wanted to see, oh, first off, I need to bring this to my bathroom. I wanted to go through my PR and just see if there was like new products that I wanted to try. I wish more than anything that this actually came in my shade. I'm gonna give it to a friend, but like it kills me that this is not my shade because I wanna try this so bad. Um, I feel like even that's even like way too light, but it's just, wow, amazing. I'm gonna try this primer. Um, this, let's see. Oh, that's a pretty color. Oh, you know what? I bet I would love this because I love these Rare Beauty lip glosses. They're so good and I love like a bright pink lip right now. Oh, that's really pretty, but not my shade. Oh, let's see. Primer, primer. I have so many primers. Okay, I really don't have much makeup makeup to like try out right now, so sorry guys. You know what, I might do the Bye Bye Foundation. This is in medium, I think I'm gonna do this. This is nothing new, but I haven't used it in a long time. So it'll be like trying a new product, you know what I mean? Okay, so the next like real task is gonna be doing my makeup with these things on. Like definitely again, not ideal. Life is a journey, okay? We're, we're all just trying our best here. I'm gonna actually start off with this lip gloss and see how I feel about it. Well, I mean, I know that I love the lip gloss. I love the color. I love these lip glosses. They're like natural looking lip glosses. The perfect sheen, the, oh, just oh. 10 out of 10. Guys, let me know if you never want me to post a vlog on the internet ever again after seeing this one, okay? We're starting off with the Hourglass Mineral Primer. Interesting, oh, it feels really like interesting in your skin. This white tint though stresses me out and makes me worried that they'll be like flashback or something. This is one of my all time favorite lines, the It Cosmetics. Oh, this is Bye Bye Foundation. It's not the It Cosmetics CC Cream, but it looks the same. Wouldn't you be confused too? I just do one pump normally for the CC Cream, so I guess we'll see. I'm gonna do like a little bit more, like barely any um, for my cheeks. For some reason, my foundation sits weird right here on my skin, but I don't know why, because there's nothing different about the texture. So without that, you would really just need one pump. That's the other thing I will say, these things last forever, like it's so much product. I'm into it so far. We have a Pillow Talk lip liner, found that. I need a vanity. I've been seeing people put like, just a little bit of concealer here, and then here. How does that work? I'm going for a more glowy look tonight. I do like how my skin looks, I will say. The lighting here, it's not the best. You guys know the drill, my favorite cream products lately. If anyone has been able to find the Charlotte Tilbury, like really popular little stick thing, where did you buy it? Because it is sold out everywhere. Like these aren't even hot. So is it even doing anything if they're not hot now? Probably not, honestly. The best cream blushes ever. I mean, I haven't tried that many, but I love these. Going over with an actual bronzer, just something that I do. Maybe it's the drama on me, you know? Then, of course, I use bronzer as my eyeshadow. This is mainly due to the fact that, like, I don't know how to do my makeup, you know? I'm not feeling a winged look tonight. Going back to a classic, the Becca Champagne Pop highlight. For brows, um, I'm just using a brow gel from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm getting kind of impatient with my hair. I feel like I'm gonna take them out soon, um, which worries me because, you know, I'm just, our night is starting so early. Like, will my hair look bad by 10 p.m.? You know? Probably not because this is like a easy blowout look. Coco, so rude. Hourglass, setting powder. 
this isn't like my most insane look um where well i lose here it is i lose my okay i have this hourglass veil soft focus setting spray which i actually really like it missed on very well next we have some mascara oh i can't even do my mascara with these rollers okay well I just got mascara all over my eyes so like look at my eyelashes i don't even know what to do do i deserve for them to like dry i mean this is like a big catastrophe like this is very bad like i just did my entire face of makeup oh they're drying better i'm gonna have to like obviously fix this one up but it's not as bad I normally really like that mascara, actually. I was literally about to say it's a great mascara, and then that happened to me. Okay, so this is looking good. There's a little bit of a little crease there, but uh, it's fine. It'll be under the rest of my hair. Oh, okay, looking good. I also got a new um, hairspray. I've had a bad one for the past, literally since I moved in, and I accidentally bought a bunch of them, so for some reason I just like didn't want to get rid of them. And then I finally was like, okay, like I need to get a good one. It's been a year. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this. But I have volume. These are gonna be interesting because this is not how I normally do it. So I'm curious to see. Ooh. Oh, it looks so much worse than when I normally do it. The one time I do it on camera is of course the time that I like really mess it up. Okay, well we have some problems because this is really messed up. Like, this one is just, like, a little... I wish I would have done it the way that I normally do it. I don't like it, though. Like, it's, like, an easy... Okay. It's, like, an easy blot. If, like, honestly, it's just this piece that's, like, bad, and the rest is fine, and it gives me volume, I will say. Every other time I've done this off camera, it has looked ten times better, though, so... Um... Yeah. So almost like I need to straighten this piece out. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Makeup and hair, done, pretty much. I don't know, I've done it so much better. It's just, it was um, honestly a letdown, it's fine. So, here's my outfit, totally different than what I planned to wear. It's a lot of pink, I have my new jeans on, my new shoes, by the way, these are really easy to walk in. Really easy to walk in, I would definitely recommend. I'm the biggest one when it comes to any shoe, to any shoe with any type of heel. And like if I can commit to these for like a long period of time, so can you. I have my new wash of the asymmetrical jeans. These are Princess Polly. I will have them linked below. This is not sponsored. Um, so in yesterday's vlog, I talked about how I decided to go down a size. For reference, like typically a medium between like a four and a six. And in the jeans, I had a six because they were like baggy and I like that look. But I feel like I've worn them so many times that I just kind of worn them out and they're a little bit too baggy. So I got them in black and I got them in this shade i really like them they're literally the perfect fit they're so slimming they're just like really cute they're comfy i wear them more than i wear like my 200 dollar pair of jeans i cannot recommend them enough this top also princess holly my bag juicy i have a lot of pink going on here lots of different looks i'm gonna fix my hair but uh here we are for my outfit for the night here's kind of like a better look at the makeup not really i don't know if you can see it's just like it's like fairly simple. Be from the future. I forgot to outro this vlog, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, subscribe. Love you all. I'll talk to you soon. Doing more research and just like, this is the life. <laughs> That's actually so funny that you say that. I could actually see all of that happening in like a young adult novel for sure. Yeah, I've definitely had an interesting journey and gotten very lucky in many scenarios, I feel. <laughs>